all right so in this video we are going to learn how to represent multiple qubits so we know if uh, it's a single qubit then it can either be in 0 or in 1 I mean if you the post measurement the basis for single qubit is just this but if there are two qubits suppose then this generally goes with the rule of 2 to the power n so this will be the number of bases so if i write like 0 and 1 that means it's a two qubit basis states and the possible bases are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so these are the possible bases so in general a state for 2 qubit will be represented as alpha 0 0 0 0 alpha 0 1 0 1 alpha 1 0 one zero alpha one 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 while this alpha x give the corresponding amplitude so if we measure and if the state collapses in certain state then the state will have a probability of alpha x square so suppose if it collapses to 0 0 then it will have alpha 0 0 mod square probability right so similarly we can also measure uh, and the outcome so we, we can also measure a single qubit So suppose we only measure the first qubit and the probability that it will collapse it will the outcome will be 0 will be alpha 0 0 0 0 plus alpha 0 1 0 1 and also it will be normalized by alpha 0 0 mod square plus alpha 0 1 mod square so this is corresponding to a single qubit measurement also we would be getting 1 and for that it will be alpha 10 zero, 10 zero plus alpha 11 one, 1 1 divided by alpha 10 zero mod square plus alpha 11 one mod square so notice how it is getting uh, renormalized i mean the states will always have to be normalized so in this case the total probability if you just try to calculate this becomes alpha 1 0 mod square plus alpha 1 1 mod square divided by alpha 1 0 mod square plus alpha 1 1 mod square which is nothing but 1 okay so this will be under root this will be under root then only it will be one so it is like that so this is a this is how you can uh, represent two qubit state also we we can do it for n qubit state as well and uh, let's just see for the three qubit and uh, for 3 qubit it will be 2 to the power 3 so the states will be 0 0 0 then 1 0 0 then 0 1 0 then 0 0 1 then 
वन वन जीरो देन वन जीरो वन देन जीरो वन वन एंड देन वन 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 नोटिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो दीज आर दिस विल बी द बेसिस फॉर अ थ्री क्यूबिट स्टेट रिप्रेजेंटिंग थ्री क्यूबिट स्टेट्स सिमिलरली वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट अ जेनरल एन क्यूबिट स्टेट बट द बेसिस फॉर दैट विल बी टू टू दी पॉर एन सो सपोज इफ एन इज जस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड इवन फॉर दैट केस टू टू दी पॉर फाइव हंड्रेड विल बी द बेसिस नंबर ऑफ बेसिस टू रिप्रेजेंट दैट स्टेट एंड दैट इज मोर देन द नंबर ऑफ टोटल एटम्स इन द होल यूनिवर्स सो दिस इज अ वेरी ह्यूज नंबर सो अवर हिलबर्ट स्पेस is huge hilbert space is the space that is formed by this basis of the qubits so this is a huge state a uh, huge space and also there is a special uh, bell uh, special uh, two qubit state which is called bell state and which is represented by 1 by root 2 0 0 plus 1 1 so this is a special state and this is a entangled state and which we will use many more times in future and this is a very special state and why it is a entangled state because you cannot write this state as a product state so product state means psi1 uh i2 you cannot write it in this form so this is a very special state and we will see some use of this state in future and uh, also there can be other entangled states two qubit states like 01 plus 10 can also be a possible uh uh entangled state right so it's like this and i hope you have understood the basic funda how to write a uh, multiple qubit state and that was the intent for this video and that will be all for today thank you